you know, even though a bitch has been in the hospital for about three weeks off and on, I uh, really can't stand when people act like we're too uh, stupid to counter their stuff. Apparently, little Miss Chantal Marie thinks that she's going to galaxy brain all of us reaction channels, or as I call myself, a react to the reaction channel, because um, she seems to think that she has the formula to get us and copyright strike. I need to remind you that fair use is a thing, stupid. Ethan Klein made sure because he had a weirdo asshole that decided, I'm going to sue you for talking about me. And that's not how that works. Fair use means as long as we transform by either appearing or adding our commentary over your nonsense, we are covered under fair use. We are allowed to critique you because you put your shit on the internet, whether it's on this platform, any other platform, as long as somebody has access to it, we can review it, Miss E. Celeb. But I'm not here to just talk about how stupid you are in regards to legal stuff. The fact of the matter is, the last three weeks have been rough, but not rough enough for me not to see what was going on. Oh yeah, I watched in the hospital as you bragged, as you ran back to your scat man. And don't think this nonsense is going to make us forget that he literally said he wants to eat Kybella's behind for eight hours. And that he likes being pooped on and he has great fetishes. You are, I don't understand what you think you're doing at this point. But you're not deflecting. It's a deflect fail. So while I was recuperating from my calcium levels being critically low, I listened to you brag about your 15 pound weight loss. You ran through the airport allegedly. Not really. You walked for a little bit and then got a trolley. Don't think we didn't hear all the shit you were saying. But you claim, like I had at my first hospital visit, to have lost 15 pounds. And I went on record to say, if you lost that much weight, you can see it in your wrist, in your hands, in your neck, in everything. I'm down 21 pounds, Heifer. You cannot relate. But it just kills me the way you just flip-flop. The cycle that you do I don't understand who you think you're hurting at this point. But threatening to sue people, bringing up BBJ, which you kept saying you're never going to talk about that cat again, another lie. Talking about FFG because she's the only one that keeps views your way. But even she's getting tired of your stuff. And I know because I sat in her chat last night. It's exhausting watching this Kuwaiti poop arc. It's exhausting watching you pretend like this man still loves you when we all know we all got eyes. He's not even showing up. If my partner, which I know wouldn't, but if he messed up even a little bit, he would be apologizing. Your man has not done that because he doesn't care. He's not there. That's why you're able to wreck that furniture with your shitty uh, girth. Miss, I gained 13 pounds in less than a week. And then you want to argue with people who actually know nutrition, who told you, you are eating way too much calories and you're not burning it off. You keep making excuses about walking and doing all that stuff. Honey, you are at a level where even if you didn't walk at night right now, if you just ate less, you could lose weight. That you can't help yourself. You keep calling it the B word. Because you don't want to say what the word is. But it's not the B word. It is the fact that you can't satiate the emptiness in your life. You think that food is going to be there for you no matter what. And you need help for that. But you don't want to get therapy. You don't want to rehash your past. But you do it to us all the time. I know more about your fucking life than I need to. And you owe me a check, miss. Because I am not a therapist. And I don't enjoy having you trauma dump every time you talk. And I'll say this, watching you continue the repetitive arc of, I'm going to lose weight, y'all. I'm going to die in and exercise. I'm on the right track. I'm going to eat healthier. And then you flip the script. You start with your mukbangs. And you can't tell me what to do. I just didn't feel like cooking, even though I did a huge-ass grocery haul with a bunch of junk food that I didn't need. Because I'm still not at the point where I've learned what foods to eat and what foods not to eat. So I'm just going to do what I want, but I don't want you to criticize me. I will only take criticism from fellow Muslims, even though I'm just a class play culture vulture. 
And then on top of that, you have these big ass plates of food. You don't have proper cookware. You cook literal pasta in a fucking rice cooker because apparently boiling water in a pot is a bridge too far for you. You try to make a Syrian breakfast. I guess you're trying to entice that scat man back to you, but he does not want to be anything but driving you around, making sure you make him the coin he needs to sustain his livestock. I don't understand what you think you're doing, foodie. I don't know who you think you're making jealous with your fuck shit, but it's not me. During some of my roughest times, I had a partner that not only advocated for me, but made everything better and continues to make everything better. That's the difference between being in actual love with somebody and having a partnership and being with somebody who legitimately is using you for whatever he can get out of you. And then when you're gone, because you're still not changing, look at those pickles. That is sodium in a jar. I'm pretty sure your doctor wouldn't have cleared that. I watched the little cut video that you did because I, I tapped out after a while once you were boiling that chicken in the water for the broth. Somebody else's made chicken, which was probably full of sodium and seasonings too. And then you'll just say, well, the 13 pounds was just water weight gain, guys. Just sodium water weight. Are you kidding me? Are you for real, real? Seriously, you whale fish salah into thinking you were smaller than you were. And I watched that smug little video where you said, it was the Taco Bell mukbang at that. He went and dated me. He already knew I was big. He knew you were big, but he didn't know you were super mega morbidly obese big, honey. And I say this as a big heifer who is, once again, going to remind you, down 21 pounds. And even though I'm laying in my bed, because like I said, I'm still unserious about your nonsense. I don't care. I am just here to call you out, and every time you make a community tab talking about somebody's deceased parent, every time you talk about BBJ, who is a better place, way more happier than she was with you, every time you try to pretend to be something you're not, I will be around. I might not make a lot of content about you, because you seem to think that's all we do, and you're the most important person on YouTube. But you're going to see, Heifer, as people get tired of your repetitive nonsense, as people really start seeing that you're never going to change. It's been seven years. You still do shitty mukbangs. You still don't do proper content. Even when you do your couple vlog stuff, it is just you now. And we could see just you in Canada driving around looking like a fiend for nasties. But instead, you still want to convince us that you're a happy wife. Can be me, ma'am. I don't indulge in fantasy unless I'm right in it. My reality is way too good. That's why I'm fighting so hard with these health issues to take care of myself. But I had to call you out, even if this is a short one, because you were on some fuck shit with the smug videos, with the several mukbangs, with the big ass tray of rice in one, and then the supposed smaller tray of rice, which could still feed more than a few people. You're eating too much and you're not burning it off. It is simple biology at this point, but you don't care. I was up in the hospital bed for the first visit. Didn't even get to do PT. The last two visits, they had me doing physical therapy, which was good because I didn't want to lay in the hospital bed all the time. And I know that's ironic, y'all, since I'm laying in the bed to review this stupid bitch. But I'm telling you right now, being inactive is not good. Even today, the most I got to do was full clothes. And honestly speaking, I need to get back to healthy so that I can keep my house from falling apart. But that's the difference between you and I. You treat doing your household chores like it's actual exercise. No, you should start with wanting a cleaner house to live in. Maybe then your scat bottle will come and visit more. You should want better for your life. But I feel like I am talking to somebody who is like a wall, and I'm not here to get through to your denseness. Those who watch me, watch me call you out. And I would like to get back to the videos, and I might because... There were several amazing editors who put out stuff while I was laying up in the hospital. But since Miss Dum Dum here wants to talk about suing people and copyright striking them, even if they only make $13 from it, I'll play your game. I, I watch Garlic uh, Bread. All he does is do screen caps of pictures from your stupid lives and whatnot and pretty much just gives his opinion and he tries to help you still. I can do this and just call you out, including your freaking lies, which were too boring to get through, so I don't care. 
you love talking smack, but you don't come correct, and you still fight like you're in elementary school. And who the hell remembers stuff from like elementary and junior high? Why do you remember lunches stole from you? That's fucking weird. Everything you do is food related. Even the latest live, you were reminiscing about food, talking to your beezers about food. And let me remind you, your beezers, the supposed loyals, often are just there to troll you and try to get you into more mess. It must suck to be you. You have nobody in your corner right now. You make up and invent friends and guests and a Muslim sister, but we ain't seeing them, Heifer, so we don't believe you because you're a liar with liabetes. Now, my partner keeps looking over at me because he does not want me wearing myself out. So, like I said, this is just going to be a short calling out to Heifer because I know some of y'all miss me and I missed y'all too. I've been lurking in people's chats or talking in people's chats if I had the energy. And I am going to get back to good, y'all. But this Heifer, she is not worth all of my time. She's not worth all of my energy. And she's never going to change. And until she learns to get help for her issues and learn to love herself she's never ever going to have happiness and that's just the reality of the situation now i'm sorry i had the microphone close i just wanted to make sure i didn't pick up anything else but my partner paused his uh tv just to do that another thing your partners didn't do you don't know what it's like to have support stupid but either way, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a shorter one. I will try to get back to long form as soon as I feel up to it. But I just, I could, I was getting pent up. The rage at her. And I know I've seen karma now. But as I got to thinking about it, she is definitely not worth the full rage right now. She didn't even give us a real rage. She keeps trying to be sly and talking about making her own reaction channel. Do it, bitch. I want to see it. I want to see if you ever step up your game without writing a script because your script sucked too. But either way, I will be back because she's going to keep doing stupid stuff. So I hope to be here to clap her back as soon as possible. And thank y'all for watching. Thank everybody for who all you new subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Those who have been looking at my book because I haven't been pushing it. I thought I released it last year, but it's been two years, so I got to get to it on the second book. But I just wanted to thank you all, and especially those who shared the fundraiser. You've helped my family out so much. I appreciate you all. Thank you.